हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्राम चैप्टर टू मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल्स बाई आर सी हेपलर एंड द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द पेन कनेक्टेड रिजिड रॉड्स ए बी एंड बी सी आर इनक्लाइंड एट थीटा इक्व टू थर्टी डिग्री वन दे आर अनलोडेड वन द फोर्स पी इज अप्लाइड थीटा बिकम्स थर्टी पॉइंट टू डिटर्मिन द एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेन डिवेलप्ड इन वायर ए सी सो इनिशियली दिस मैकेनिज्म इज अनलोडेड एंड देर इज नो फोर्स एट पॉइंट बी सो वन देर इज नो फोर्स एट पॉइंट बी वन पी इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस एंगल थीटा गिवन इज थर्टी डिग्रीज सो द टोटल एंगल इज टू टाइम्स थर्टी विच इज सिक्सटी डिग्रीज एंड वन देर इज अ फोर्स पी अप्लाइड दैन दिस एंगल थीटा बिकम्स थर्टी पॉइंट टू सो वी आर आस्ट टू डिटर्मिन द एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस the average normal strain developed in this wire ac so again we can say that the average normal strain in wire ac will be equal to the change in length of ac divided by the initial length of ac so we can say that the initial length of ac now the initial length of ac is this so first of all we have to find the initial length so if this angle is 30 let's say this angle theta is let's say this angle theta is 30 degree so we can say that if we draw a right angle triangle here then this ab length is 600 and we can say that this length will be equal to 600 this length will be equal to 600 sin of 30 degree and this length is the cos component right so we can say that this is 600 sin of 30 and similarly this length is 600 sin of 30 as well so the length the initial length of ac will be 2 times 600 sin of 30 degrees so we can say that this will be we can further say that this will be 2 times 600 sin of 30 degrees and the change in length will be equal to the this length right after applying some force at b what it will do is that uh this since this at this point c we have the roller support so the roller support can move in the horizontal direction so this point c will travel some distance so let's say that this point this is this is point c dash so the change in length will be this c c dash or we can say that the change in length uh change in length of ac will be lac dash minus lac so this will be lac dash and this will be lac which is equal to 2 times 600 sin of 30 so let's find this this is 2 times 600 sin of 30 this gives us 600 right so this means that the initial length uh, when when this point b is unloaded ac length is 600 600 mm so let's let's write this is 600 and this is 600 as well so this is 600 as well now we can find l a d c because the problem says that then theta angle becomes 30.2 so now this angle is 30.2 and this angle is 30.2 as well so if this is 30.2 and this is 30.2 and these rods a b and b, b c they are rigid rods so they will be uh no change in their lengths right so this will remain 600 and this will remain 600 so we can say that again if we consider this right angle triangle here so if this length is 600 and this is 30.2 then this is 600 sin of 30.2 and similarly this is 600 sin of 30.2 so we can say that lac dash will be 2 times 600 sin of 30.2 so we can say that this is 2 times 600 sin of 30.2 so this is equal to 603.624 mm so now we can put this value here 
and that will give us the average normal strain that is developed in YAC. So we can say that EAC is equal to 603 Point six two four minus six hundred divided by six hundred. So we can say that six hundred and three point six two four minus six hundred divided by six hundred. So this gives us zero point zero zero six zero four millimeter per millimeter. So this is the required answer for this particular problem. So I hope all this discussion will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if this helps. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler.